I think the Big 12 is ready to make a huge move. Um, you know, Pete Thamel said, and a lot of other people have said, according to a source, conversations have happened between the Big 12 and San Diego State. Like, that means nothing to me. Name your source. Otherwise, I, I don't care. Um, and just to say that there's been a conversation that Brett Yormark or somebody in his office phoned San Diego State, like, who cares, right? They could have an extended relative that works in the front office there, for all I know. Um, what I do think is about to happen, though, is I think the Big 12, while everybody else is kind of in, in a – in a standoff, if you will, like that scene from the office where everyone's got the, <laughs> the finger guns out. I think Brett Yormark's like, all right, you guys don't want to make a move. I will. Um, and I think he's playing 40 chess. Brett Yormark is not only building a football conference, he's building an all sports conference, right? Basketball has long been a priority of his since he took over uh, as the commissioner of the conference. And I don't know if you watched uh march madness I, I don't know if many people did actually no i do because you sent me the the media numbers and a lot of people watched yukon in san diego state uh so maybe brett yormark is like you know what we'd love the south california footprint we'd love to have the aztecs as a part of our basketball conference they just made it to the national championship and, and more oh, by people the way, their watch football that national win. championship yeah. and more people watch that national championship than the nba finals so well, that doesn't surprise me, but yeah, I mean, we, NBA is awful, <laughs> nobody cares but, about the NBA. Yeah, it, but still, I mean, that that's a huge, huge selling point, and it, it was a national championship between San Diego State and UConn, who we'll talk about in just a little bit. Yeah, and it drew 17 million viewers. So basketball is not nothing in this conversation. I think your mark is a genius to be focusing on that, to be honest, and he's not going to catch the SEC in the Big Ten in football, but he can yeah. run laps around them in basketball. And he can still create a very, very competitive football conference. So I guess, are you thinking that if San Diego State does not get Pac-12 invitation, they might have a secret Big 12 invitation on the table? I don't know if they have a secret invitation. I, I Not much stays secret as far as this goes, uh, although Texas and Oklahoma yeah. surprised everybody. So, you know, what do I know? But um so did ucla and usc that came out of nowhere last summer we, you, yeah last summer we i were remember scrambling when, to put a show out because we i were, remember when that news broke i was sitting by my pool uh doing a project for work and we all were texting each other like no way this is true right like that i've forgotten who tweeted it initially but we we're like there's no way this has to be fake and then one by one, all of the journalists that we trust and respect started retweeting it, started commenting on it. It was like, oh, shoot, this is for real. So, you know, a lot of closed door meetings are clearly happening. Um, and, you know, in the age of give it to me now news and Twitter, they I guess they have done a good job of keeping things secret. To me, though, it just like every time we go through another one of these big moves, it it shocks me that you know, people keep it under wraps for as long as they do. Um, as easy as it is to slip a tip to Thamel or to Nicole Auerbach or whoever it is, um, and it never gets traced back to you. I'm, I'm always surprised. But yeah, back to kind of the theory, and we can bring in UConn here. I do think your mark has at least some of these schools on speed dial, right? We've talked about Colorado. We've talked about Arizona. Uh, we talked about San Diego State. Now, UConn as well, as I mentioned off the top, UConn is reportedly telling recruits, hey, you might get to play in the Big 12 if you come play for the Huskies. Uh, that was according to Heartland College Sports, which, you know, again, I, not necessarily my number one trusted source, but I will say, <clears throat> excuse me, I will say I did speak with um, a very plugged in UConn insider. He didn't deny anything. So just put put that out there. Well, and um, I think I think the they landed a four star quarterback this week, uh, Cole Welliver, and yep. he came out and said that he told them that, that they told him, yeah, we're going to the Big Twelve. So he yep. he's on the record as well. So you know, we'll see, we'll see, right? I mean, we there there have been conference realignment talks for just about as long as college football has been popular and media rights deals have been a big deal 
Um, you remember, and we talked about it, Texas was about to sink the entire Big 12 conference and, and yoink everybody over to the Pac-12. That clearly didn't happen. Um, but at the same time, this feels very realistic, right? Where there's a clear vision, there's a clear end result that your mark is chasing, that the Big 12 is chasing to create revenue, to generate more value in other avenues other than just the football field. And it seems like a very, very solid plan, adding the national champion and the runner-up in basketball with decent football programs. I mean, UConn is rebuilding. San Diego State has been fine uh, under Brady Hoke the last couple of years. And they'd be getting more money to pour into those football programs. Yeah, it seems like a win-win to me. Yeah, and for anybody just scoffing at UConn, joining a power football conference one they were in one and made it all the way to an orange bowl in the not so recent history or fiesta bowl a bcs bowl and two, look at kansas they were only yeah. in the big 12 for basketball for since the big 12's inception practically yeah. other than one magical run to the orange bowl and they get the right coach in place and what do you know they're running an offense that nobody can stop and they're making a run to a bowl game and when you have the money and resources of a power five conference, you can open up a lot of things. UConn is trying to do football as an independent with no TV contract and no um, bowl tie-ins right now. And they made a bowl game in 2022. So yeah, I mean, anything can happen. I think UConn could be a viable market. They get UConn, they get U uh, San Diego state. They're all of a sudden a coast to coast conference. They're the second coast to coast conference after the Big Ten. So lots of lots of moving pieces. Obviously, I think San Diego State's probably primary choice, I think, would be the Pac twelve still, if that invitation gets sent out. But if that meteorite deal comes out, uh, San Diego State might be looking at other options very quickly. Gracious, how about that?